it's time to do something new today. I have a crazy idea, my friends. It's turning my old laptop into a powerful router. With PFSense, yes, it can be done. There are a few things we're going to need though. Aside from my old laptop, we also need switch that is capable of VLANs. This is Cisco, but if you have other brands that is capable of VLANs, it will work. Why do we need a switch that is capable of VLANs? Because our laptop has only one interface. We need to virtually create two interfaces in one physical interface so that the PFSense firewall will work. We need a USB stick that is loaded with PFSense so that we can install it in our laptop. So let's get started right away. Now let's start installing PFSense. This is my laptop. Press the one, put it right away. Okay, I'll just make this fast. And if you have any questions on how you can install PFSense, you can watch my video in installing PFSense so that we can jump into the configuration right away, okay? If you have successfully installed PFSense, the first question you will have here is, should you set up VLANs now? Yes, because we only have one interface and we need to set up VLANs. You can see it here, it's only one interface that is valid. So we press yes and then press enter. Enter the parent interface name for the new VLAN. We put RL0, RL0. You can see it here, RL0, we type in that. Press enter, enter the VLAN type. We can select a number from one to 4094. That's a VLAN type. So I'll just put here, let's say 100. The first VLAN I created would be VLAN 100. We already created one VLAN. We need to create another VLAN. So this is the second one. I'm going to type again RL0. Press enter. And then I'll just put 200. So the first VLAN would be 100 and the second VLAN would be 200. I'll press enter. And then if you want to add more, we can continue adding VLANs, but two is enough for us. Okay, enter the one interface name or A for auto detection. Now we want that the one interface where the internet is coming from would be that 100, RL0.100 and the RL0.200 will be the LAN. So we'll put it here, RL0.100, that is our one interface. And then we'll put RL0.100. 200 that would be our LAN if you have additional interface we can enter it here however we only created two VLANs so that's okay we don't need this one let's just press enter you can see we have already one that 100 in your LAN is that 200 so we're good to go the requirement for PFSense to run PFSense is at least two interface now do you want to proceed yes of course then let's wait for this one. Once you have already set up those base configurations, the PFSense will restart itself. So LAN has the default IP address 192.168.1.1. We can leave it like that. So the one interface doesn't have any IP address. Since we are done configuring PFSense, we need to configure our switch so that it will work with our PFSense. So we need to create two VLANs, two VLANs here. At the same time, create a trunk port that will be connected to our PFSense. I won't put this so I'll just press enter here. Uh, we'll just do a fast forward here. Hey guys, we are done with the configuration. We already set up the switch. We already set up two VLANs in the switch. We set fast Ethernet 01 as uh, VLAN 100 and then Fast Ethernet 02 as VLAN 200. F03 is a trunk port. If you configure that one as a trunk port, this is the port that we are going to use to connect to our PFSense. F03 is down here. So we can see, if you can see the light there, I don't know if you can see that one. Our LAN is 200, so F, F02. Our one is that 100, so we set on the switch that the first switch should be our internet connection. So I will connect it to our internet connection here. So 
So it started to light up. You can see it's lighting up there. Let's wait until it says it goes green. And then our one, our one interface should get an IP address from our internet site. Start to connect also our fast Ethernet through to our PC. So I've already connected my PC here. I'm just going to wait for this one to load up on my PC. Let's open our browser. And uh, before that, we need to check our IP address if we are getting the 1.1 network. Yes, we have 1.1 network. That is 1.100, uh, our IP address. Now we can connect, we can connect with our 192.168.1.1 and check our PSN if we can connect out there. Yes, there you go. Let's go for the default account. There you go, it says welcome TFSense. And then uh, you, if you want to configure this one, go for it, but I don't want to configure it. I just want to go right away to our dashboard and check. You can see it here, our one interface is 192.168.0.100 and the LAN interface would be 192.168.1.1. That means we were able to configure our PFSense even if we only have one interface using VLANs. So you can go and check on the assignments here and then you can see VLAN 100 on RL0 and VLAN 100 on RL0. That's how you can configure your laptop to be a firewall. Every feature of PFSense, you can use it on whatever you want to use it for. If you're crazy like me, turning your old laptop into a PFSense firewall, you create two virtual interface on a laptop that has only one interface and then everything will work out fine so if you learn something from this video just give it a thumbs up just hit subscribe like my video and then comment down below thank you for watching bye, -bye.